Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. Not just any episode, though, ladies and gentlemen, it is episode 100. Absolutely wild to think about how long this ride has gone for. Longer and smoother than any train ride in this beautiful republic, that's for sure. And folks, there is a lot we're going to try and accomplish in order to commemorate this momentous occasion. Because it is momentous. A hundred episodes. Honestly, it wasn't until episode 70 or so that it dawned on me that this was actually going to happen. We were actually going to hit this massive number on what I thought was going to be a humble mini Let's Play on the channel with just 10 episodes. A wild ride indeed. And this ride, folks, would not have been possible without each and every one of you. So there's a couple of things we're doing today. First of all, take a look at the title. I think it's about time, right? I think it's about time the title got a little bit of an update. And uh, we're gonna keep the old titles the same, no need to change it, let it be a part of our history, right? The history of this nation. Episode 100, wild. The second thing we're going to do is something you'll notice in the pinned comment down below. I am releasing a particular piece of swag, which I've been meaning to do for a very, very long time. Uh, but this felt like the moment. For all of my wonderful Tovarishi who have been joining me on this journey, who have been helping me along, goading me on, and ensuring that this nation truly reaches its highest heights, really hits the pinnacle of all things Soviet. For all of you, I've prepared a little something, and uh, I'll even have a little discount code going for a little while so that we can all get it on the on the on the cheap, right? Let's uh, let's celebrate this and, and minimize our costs. I'm not looking for any profit or anything off the swag. I think it would just be a nice thing to uh, to have. Um, so, I'll, so I'll put it on like a 100% profit sale uh, it, for the next you know couple of weeks or something. So everybody who's been following along so closely, uh, you can pick it up right now. And basically what that means is you'll be getting it at production cost uh, because obviously, you know, whether you get the well, I don't want to spoil the various types of swag I'm prepping, but whether you get one thing or another, uh, the only cost associated that uh, is being covered is production cost uh, and shipping. Uh, so hopefully some of y'all will enjoy that, and hopefully it's something that uh, you can actually, you know, use outside of uh, outside of a joke, I guess. Because uh, I'm I'm definitely I definitely oh man I'm excited I've been I've been excited to to drop this stuff for a while, but this definitely felt like the moment we had to hold for. Uh, but that's all, you know. A meta conversation that's all outside of our universe outside of our city outside of our world though you know surely some of that uh, swag and merch would be sold at the uh, the local stores and whatnot we need to consider what we're going to do to mark this occasion in game as well now one thing I was considering was to have an extremely long introduction and I think I've accomplished that this has been going on for a very long time so you know congratulations for making it so far um, but beyond that I thought we should maybe do a tour I thought it'd be great to have a tour to see everything we've accomplished so far. It would be a great way to, uh, you know, get people to to really understand the story. If you haven't been seeing since, uh, seen, haven't been watching, sorry, since episode one. Uh, but then I thought, no, you know what? This episode we have to build something. That's what we have to do this episode. Maybe not complete it, but commission it. Next episode, 101, is when we'll do our tour. So, folks, again, thank you so very much for joining me on this journey and for making it so very very special uh and today to to mark this i mean i'm still not over it to mark episode 100 we are finally going to put down a building that we perhaps should have put down in episode one ladies and gentlemen under education for some reason is where this building is placed we have the headquarters of the communist party now obviously if you're wondering, wow, all that build up for a single building, that's kind of ridiculous. You would be absolutely right, except it's not all that build up for just one building. We're going to make a whole big deal of it. And I spent some time sort of planning this out, trying to figure out how it'll look and how it'll feel. I got a bunch of new mods and stuff as well. This is where we're going to place it. And the, and the intent is the experience here as you drive over St. Partia Bridge over here or you take the train over, you go past our wonderful, you know, 
welcoming sign over here. I want to make sure that your way into the city, into the capital, is intercepted by the glory of our Soviet Republic. So this is where we're going to place it. I have some plans. Like I said, I've been planning kind of, you know, how these different pieces and these different mods will fit nicely. So I'm really excited to get that started. Uh, and we will do that while paused. I want to get the planning done while paused. Uh, and then we'll let time take over. I think this is a, a, a place that we need to have our people build, right? I don't think we should pay for it. But y'all let me know if you're in a rush to see it, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, so so that that's what we're going to focus on. And then as that construction is happening, we will take a trip down memory lane. We have to, uh, though not a proper tour. I want to save that for next time. I, I do want to touch on some other thing as well, by the way. One other thing. Uh, I tried my best to dig this uh, hole here. Um, I thought it'd be nice for episode 100 to have, you know, our, our export via ship fixed up. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work. So I tried digging a hole here. I put a um, construction yard over here in a, in a test uh, uh, save to do it and it's had the same problem where it's too far away from any excavation um, vehicles or anything like that so that's a no-go I also tried placing buoys all the way down the river to get a boat to go to the uh, export line on the other side and unfortunately that didn't work either so uh, a little unfortunate but hey maybe they'll fix it eventually it is after all you know still an early access this game 100 episodes on an early access game I'm shocked I'm blown away, honestly. Kudos to the developers, honestly. Um, keeping me hooked like this on a, on a city builder like this. Uh, Alright, so. And kudos to the modders and stuff as well, by the way. Uh, always good to have good modders. But yeah, so, so I just wanted to address that, that I did try to solve this problem, but no such luck. With that done, on the 17th of March, 1988, just before the 90s hit, uh, let's get our let's get our center right because we are so confident in the future of this uh, of this nation that we should uh, we should go ahead and, and and commemorate it. So, like I said, I did a little bit of planning, and we're gonna we're gonna change things up a little bit. I do like this space over here, and I do like this main road, the original main road of this beautiful nation. Uh, not a chance we're going to remove that. There's so much history there, so that constrains us. And this track over here has its own history as well just in purely getting it to work all train tracks in in this nation have a have a have a history right so we're gonna put it over here uh does it feel constrained absolutely but that's part of the challenge right we can't make it easy on us we can't just put it on an open empty field and say oh yeah that was uh like sure we could make it big but that's not what it's about it's about showing our our skill our our you know commitment to uh to every square inch of the motherland, as it were. So, as you can see, the um, the headquarters of the Communist Party is not that big a building, which is why I realized it can't just be uh, this building. It has to actually be uh, a whole thing around it. And and like I said, we, we've, we've explored, or I've explored a couple of options, and I'm really excited to share them. So, first things first, uh, we're going to go ahead and pop this thing down. Now, it might still take a little bit of tweaking, because even with the planning, right, things... Uh, you can't repeat things one for one, or I, mean, I, I can't, I should say, repeat things one to one. So I will do a little bit of fiddling here and there to make sure it is, you know, better than my plans ever were. I want to make sure we are looking at the uh, the pinnacle of uh, of party elite patience to execute this. Let's go ahead and flatten all this out. Yeah, so we're gonna get the building over here. Auto build is not on. We want to make sure we're building this with our own resources and our own laborers' hands, right? So we've got this over here. Now, this road, this road will be changed. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to... Do we want to cancel it first, or do we want to save it for now? We're, we're, we're going to save it for now, because I want to use this as a bit of a measuring device, I suppose. Uh, let's go ahead and get our um, asphalt road. No, let's get let's do the mud road first, and we'll, we'll convert it afterwards, right? So this road will go over this way. Uh, we will have to move, eventually, the, um, the, the wiring over here. In fact, we could probably do that now. Just take it over a step, right? So let's, um... Wow, we can... We'll do it later. We'll do it later. Let's go ahead and pull this over a little bit up to here. Right? We've got that set up. Uh, this is not looking very neat. That's obviously unacceptable. Well, I guess that'll change once we edit this. So that's fine. Um, hmm, do I actually want to... No. Like I said, I'll, I'll still be fiddling with this. So we've got our... We've got our main road access over here. Uh, our road could go straight down, but that would be too plain and boring. Um, and we, we could just put down a bunch of trees, but that too would be too plain and boring. So first up in the mods is this beautiful monument that I've been eyeing for months. Motherland Calls. For months I've been looking at this because it is an absolutely beautiful piece of work. 
Let's see if I can just rotate it, even in its like multiple colored form. Look at the forms on that. Look at the expression in the in the pose and just how the fabric folds and stuff have been modeled in. Beautiful work. Uh, and, and again, I, I, I haven't downloaded this because I didn't want anybody to see it in my mods list because I was like, I need to save this for a special occasion. Uh, didn't realize a special occasion would be episode 100, but here we are, right? So let's go ahead and put this one down. And you know what? Now as, I, as I'm placing this, I, I realize I might want to make some changes to my original plan. So let's make sure this is lined up. Let's show our wireframe here. So we want to hit roughly around here, right? And pop you down over here. That's about as close as we can get to the road down here. Get a little bit closer. So we could do that. You know, I'm going to have to rework this road because I want to see if my modified plans will be possible. Let's go ahead and demolish all of this. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this. This is all clean. Good, good, good. Good stuff. Uh, and let's go ahead and get... It is tempting to clean this up as well, isn't it? But I do want to... There's stuff I want to fit up over here. I want to make sure I have space for that. Maybe I tweak this instead. We'll see. <laughs> we'll toy with that later. Uh, so let's get the mud road down over here, right? Um, and over here, we'll get you up to here for now. That's where our line is, right? So let's go ahead and mark that down over here. Like so. Go ahead and remove this road, actually. I want to make sure this can be attached. Crossing not allowed. That's mainly because of the uh, footpath and stuff, I'm sure. Yep, yeah, there we go. So we've got this going. I might actually want to remove this so people are, again, forced to go up this way. And again, I do want this to be near the the uh, sports fields and the um, the radio and TV station. I feel like that's a nice kind of spot for it, right? Uh, okay, so we've got this. Let's go ahead and remove some of the road here. Because what I really want to do is get that modded statue uh, down over here. Or actually, let's, let's keep it down over here. Boom, like so. Right? Get our road spread out like so. Get you connected up over here. Of course, it's going to curve like that, which is a little unfortunate, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. I do wonder. I do wonder. There's another mod that I got called the Eternal Flame, which I would love to put down over here. Infrastructure's in the way, so we'd have to push down a little bit more. Hmm, how far, how far can we push down is the question. Unfortunately, I have to play a little bit to get the uh, construction removed. I'll see if we go all the way down to here, right? And got to line you up a little bit easier now that we have the road down here behind us to, to help us mark it. Go ahead and remove that one step. Put you over here, building in the way. Come on now, I know you can fit. There we go, excellent. Put this down. No, some other infrastructure's in the way, so we just gotta clear this a little bit. Maybe clear this as well. The road coming down this way. Alright, connect you like so. And connect you. Oh, we gotta clear these out, these little footpaths. Connect you like so. Good stuff. Now here, could we? I suspect we'll be able to. Yeah, come up this way. Too steep of an incline. Not a problem, because we can do that that beautiful uh, and I will want to kind of measure that out we are what one square away basically so we do something like that it's about as equivalent as it'll get I think though I should first check to see if this monument will fit here I think it might here's what we'll need to do get rid of the roads get rid of the roads and then we should be able to fit this over here yeah there we go put you down like this let's say up in the train, make sure we're lined up again. We want to go kind of like over what here ish. That looks about right. Probably over here. Sure. Try and get these paths lined up as much as possible, right? We do that, right? Then we can get the roads connecting up over here. I really wish I could get these roads lined up perfectly, but just like you can see the grid, but the game just doesn't allow it. Really a bit of a bummer. Oh, it's. That's actually quite wide. Let's see, let's see. Some of you were asking in the comments, like, wow, how do you how do you get some of the lines to be so straight? This is how, by being so particular about um, about some of these shapes. Yeah, this is just not gonna fly, is it? I don't think, even if I demolish some of this, I don't think I'll be able to um, get it to work. Let's see, if we pull down to here, and then we do that, we can do this instead. Right, we can pull the same move over here, where we pull down to about here. And then do this kind of a thing, right? We can actually get rid of the road over here. 
Uh, it's not the right shape. We're close though, we're close. Right, we go, what is this? It's, it's one, two, and a, so it's one, two, and the end of this line. Is that really how far? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Far the road goes, let's go down to there. Get rid of you, get you connected. Of course, it's going to curve funny. Do that. There we go. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. All right, wonderful. And then we can get the footpath over here to come through. Just line up for me. You know you want to. Uh, I think that's closer. What about down here? No, still nothing. All right, what if we do this kind of a thing? Um, pull you down here. Pull you down over here. Right, and then pull from there to there and there to there. And then we can do this and this. Is it perfect? No, but it's as perfect as we can get within the confines, I think, of the game. That's what we have to uh, be kind of realistic about. As much as I'd like to be super precise, there are limitations here that I'm, I'm working against. Uh, let's just cancel that little segment there. Um, this should be a bit smoother here. We should be able to get this a bit more perfectly lined up. So over here, right down the middle approximately, right, is what we're aiming for. Hmm. It's just, uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. I guess we can, we can go with that. Then over here, and over here. No, that didn't perfectly line up. They just left it where it was. Good way to learn a lesson, right? Get you a little bit over, maybe. A little bit over as well. There we go. And connect you over here. I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah, I could, I could fiddle with this for days. <laughs> Not just hours. I could fiddle with this for days. All right, so we've got our beautiful statue over here, which as you drive through, you'll see it. Let's go ahead and turn the wireframe off. You drive through, you see this glorious statue. You know, you turn in, you drive past its base. Uh, we've got the Eternal Flame over here, which again, you can come to pay your respects. Uh, but obviously that's uh, that's not enough. We got to you gotta do more. There must be more. Let's go ahead and get some small red stars. Can I get them on either side over here? So this is, I've completely gone, quote unquote, off script here. This is not what this was supposed to look like at all. Uh, but now it's going to look even grander than what it was originally going to look like. So I have no issues with that. Go ahead and see if we can't get this. Nah, it's not going to fit there. Surely, though, we can get it to fit here. Let's turn that wireframe back on. Now let's get one all the way out over here. All right. And then that is... The equivalent would be over here. Can't believe the infrastructure over here. It's funny how much of a difference, like, a pixel's gap can actually make. Let's see. I'm straight up down. Let's turn the wireframe off, so we're just using our eyes here. I believe the infrastructure. What infrastructure? Oh, the statue itself? That's funny. Or is it the road? Alright, let's put it up over here then. All right, and we can go ahead and demolish this one. There we go. Turn you back around. We can kind of go up over here. That looks about right. A little bit over the road on either side. Yes, excellent. So we've got some little stars here. Now, I don't know if I actually care to have them connected by a footpath. Um, mainly because it'll look kind of hideous, I think. I guess we could do this kind of a thing. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not too bad. Make a nice little garden over here. Why does this feel like it's actually a character? I wouldn't be surprised if it is. All right, so that's that taken care of. Um, let's go ahead and get our other side done. Because I've got some fun plans for this side as well. I did, uh, again, a little bit of kind of mod hunting and whatnot. I feel like we need to nudge this over a touch to the right. Just a touch. So let's go ahead and do that first under education again. Uh, headquarters. Just a touch to the right, right? Like here. There we go. Sure. Has that changed? Has it not changed? I don't know. It feels like it's changed, and the placebo effect is a strong thing. Now, back over to the mods. I want to get the platform that I downloaded here. Um, not sure what that reads. I can't read Cyrillic, but it looks beautiful. And we're actually going to uh, be a little gratuitous with this. We're going to do something which doesn't functionally help, but uh, it looks beautiful. We're going to put this down over here. That's what we're going for here, by the way. A, l a little bit of opulence. 
maybe the beginning of the downfall of this republic, right? A little bit of opulence. Go ahead and pop you down over here. Oh, now the road can connect and can connect. We've got this nice little connection going on over here and the footpath as well. Uh, that's not so clean. It's not as clean as I'd like it to be. But you know what? Not, not a problem. In, in fact, we don't really need this footpath, so let's, let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. Uh, I could get the footpaths out to the sides, but I don't think that's necessary. This is feeling pretty good as is. Uh, what I would like to do, though, is get a um, footpath. Oh, we can't fit them on this side. That's okay. So we'll pull them down from here. Go ahead and get that uh, wireframe back up so we can use it as a reference, right? We can get you just a bit past the corner there. And you just a bit past the corner there. Hook you up. Beautiful. And then it's time for a couple more mods. Um, I, I spent a fair bit of time looking at some of these uh, monuments and things. The T-34 I've had for a while, but we haven't put down. Uh, maybe it's finally time to drop some of these babies down. So let's get the uh, T-34 down over here. Oh, come on now. Oh, just, just, ah. Oh. It's going to kill me. I mean, I could, you don't need the footpath after it's been built, right? We could just get rid of the footpaths after it's been built. Put the T-34 down over there. And can I actually fit the BMP-1s on either side? Yes, I can. Beautiful. So this is newly obtained, the BMP-1s. Um, so I feel like that'll be nice. You kind of come through. You've got these flanking either side. Um, and you've got them... Like... Facing that way. I, I, I'm really happy with how this is coming together. Oh, it's too bad I can't hide the UI but still show the outlines. But you can see, like, how this is starting to feel a bit like... Uh, it's, it's got some art to it, I guess, or I, at least I hope it's got some art to it. Jeez, <laughs> that's that's my hope here. Um, so that's that. Uh, I, I do believe... So I got the Iron Felix monument here as well as the uh, Minin uh, monument, but they didn't quite fit in quite nicely. The Iron Felix monuments do look quite nice. Um, I could introduce them like over here, flank our other monuments and stuff. They don't quite fit. Uh, I was thinking about putting them on either side of the uh, the entrance as well, so kind of like as you walk by, you can sneak them on, sneak a peek on either side. That didn't work too nicely either. I wasn't really happy with uh, with how that came through. And then some of the other monuments I've I've seen uh, didn't quite fit the aesthetic or the feel I was going for. Uh, though there are some regular um, good old fashioned monuments that we can rely on, right? Uh, always can always go back to some of these. Uh, old trustworthy options, though. I don't think. Yeah, we've, we've not got the space. Oh, there's like a slight spot here. Was it meant to be? Was it meant to be? You know, perhaps it was. Perhaps it was. How could I accidentally come across this and it have it not happen? Now, this one we'll have to pay for because there's no way we can get a footpath connection there, right? There's absolutely no way a footpath connection is possible. Unless. No, okay. I was like, what are the chances? None. This is looking pretty good, though. Uh, we could break this plaza up a little bit. Again, just to, just to further shape things or, you know, further break things. Because, God forbid, things actually end up symmetrical. Look at that. Why? Why? Why would the game do this to me? Why would I do that to myself? So glad that was easily fixed. Can we do that? I mean, I guess that's a bit more similar. Cool. All right. All right. So that's feeling pretty good. So yeah, we've got, uh, I mean, this is a, now it's a complex. Now it's feeling like a testament to our success, right? Massive monument, eternal flame, smaller monument as well. Um, and I, I like the, uh, I like the symbolism here as well, right? Uh, e even, even the individual is not, uh, is, is small compared to the, to the motherland. There's like a, there's a, there's a, there's a conversation here to be had, you know? <laughs> Man, I'm maybe I'm enjoying this too much, <laughs> but I'm enjoying this. Let's go ahead and get some trees down here as well. Some good old-fashioned seed pine. Nothing, nothing wrong with some classic trees. Beauty. Just drop these down over here. Drop them down along the sides over here as well. Uh, I could get some footpath connections too, but I don't want people to miss all this glory on their way in. I don't think I might do. I might do some footpath connections. Uh, but that's a conversation for later. I think this is our uh, our communist uh, headquarters, our our party headquarters, right? Nothing that overpowers or overwhelms any of the uh, local um, uh, housing. The whole idea being that you know the government below the people. It's in a basin. 
I like the, uh, I like the look of that. I like, I like how it's cornered in, in this very, like, important connection to, uh, to our second city, and what'll probably be an important connection to other cities as well, right? Like, unfortunately, the, the smaller towns don't get to experience this entrance, uh, but they, they are, they are satellite cities more. They're, they're more, uh, satellite towns, if you will, of, uh, of Veturinkagrad. Like, uh, if I were to use Toronto as an example, some of you will recognize the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area as a as a as a similar kind of situation where these guys all belong, and you know, as the years pass on, Train Rexki and Farminski will end end up just being, oh yeah, yeah, this is just also Veturinkagrad, and so is this. That that's what I get from there. But across the bridge, this is its own kind of entity. Uh, all right, folks, enough me rambling on pause. I think we've uh, I think we've accomplished something special over here. I'm really excited to see this all get built. Again, we are building it with our own resources and our own people. Hopefully, the construction vehicles are able to get up over here. If they're not, we'll put a temporary footpath down. Or, what I was thinking for a footpath was we could do... Uh, oh, no, you know what? I can't connect. Oh, okay, I could maybe... I could maybe get behind this. Let's see. Let's see. Could I get behind this? Or to do something like that, and then... You know what? You know what? I actually kind of like that. Kind of like the shapes we're getting out of that. On the one side, on the other side, no such luck. Because why would the game be 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 kind to us? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I need a I need a reference image over here. Got that kind of a thing. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can't do this. Let's see if we can't do this. Come on. Come on, game. You know what I want. Let me have it. No. There we go. No, it's not gonna let me make my little sickle here, is it? Damn. <laughs> I thought it'd be pretty fun to have, like, a sickle in the, uh... In the path, but... I guess I could do that. That's about as close as it'll let me get. The symbolism is there. The symbolism is there, right? Yeah, I'd say it's close. Cool. All right. Um, do we unpause? Are we ready? Do I want to change the the pathing over here to mimic that kind of a thing? Because we could probably have like a thing like that. It's a, it's a possibility. I could take a look at it. Do I want to undo all this though? Is the question. Uh, I think I like this. I think I like the the near symmetry of it. The the near perfection of it. This is ah. I'm so excited. All right, folks. Let's hit play on episode 100. You know, 30 minutes into the episode. Um, let's do it. 17th of March, 1988, right? Uh, an important, an important day, uh, for the future of this nation. I'm, I like, I'm, I'm procrastinating. I'm like hesitant to press play. Let's take a look at some of the stats like we normally do. Again, still close to 3k, 21 plus living with their family, but that's a problem we're hoping to solve soon. We're going to keep construction alive over here. Very important work happening over here, uh, that will hopefully relieve some of the pressure of all of these, uh, you know, parents' basements, as it were, metaphorically speaking. Uh, I don't think you really get a basement in an apartment building like this. Yeah, we got some big numbers over here, so that's a problem, but uh, we are also working to alleviate that pressure down over here, as some of these buildings are almost done. Um, and these would be huge, and then I can move a huge number of people down over here. Wow, these guys are already seeing overcrowding, eh? Man, stop having... well, don't stop having babies, but... You know. God, <laughs> slow it down a little bit. Uh, all right, let's hit play. I'm done procrastinating. I'm done uh, celebrating. Yo, let's hit play. Let's do it. There we go. And maybe we'll hit 10 million today as well. Maybe. That would be nice. That would, that would really put a bow on top of everything. A couple issues here and there that I would still very much like to solve. I saw a very funny comment saying, For episode 100, fix all the train problems. Haha, <laughs> good sir. <laughs> I applaud you for your sense of humor. That is... Uh, Something I would very much like to do, though I will say, if I'm completely honest, of late we've been okay. Up over here, up over here, we haven't had any issues. The issue with Farminski has mainly been one of uh, crop supply, right? So that's okay. So I feel like our trains are actually doing quite well up over here. And even down over here, we haven't had an issue in a while. Like, this stoppage is intentional. Now, I'm not just making that up. This is completely intentional. It's got 160 tons of gravel. All it does is carry gravel back and forth. Why have this moving when it can sit here and supply gravel to this aggregate storage? And that, in turn, you know, helps us produce all of our uh, uh, cement and, and concrete and, and all that stuff. Like, there's there's no reason 
for this train to be moving. So this has all been moving pretty smoothly as well. The only real trouble spot, and the only time we have trouble over here, is when this construction uh, gets in the way. I think. Um, unless I'm mistaken, that's pretty much what's been causing us our issues. Um, so overall, I would say, actually, I think we've done well. I think. I think. Uh, I could be wrong. Watch this episode, it all falls apart. Uh, now it looks like prefab panels are actually lacking from the rail construction office as well, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, so, well, I mean, the housing, I think, is more important. Once the housing is done, once the housing is done, we'll have more people in the area to be taken to the construction sites down over here, where we'll start producing our own coal. The coal will be helping us produce our own power again. You know, it's not like this is the first time we've done this. Uh, it'll also help relieve some stress from the overcrowding. Look at these numbers, though. Look at all these people running around. Uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this will get done soon. Good progress. One, what, like a fifth left? Like a fifth left or so. That's not too, too shabby. And then down over here, we have this kindergarten being built as well. I don't want to slow that down either, as we are, I think, overwhelming our education system up top over here. Um, okay, the school right now is kind of empty, but I think despite that, when we look at these places, one, children can't go to school. Well, that just got fixed. Good. Uh, workers without a job. How can you be a worker without a job? Go to the trolley bus stop and someone will pick you up to take you to a construction site. Go, go, go. There's plenty of work to be found. Plenty of work to be found. In fact, actually, I could probably unassign and they could just walk to the construction site. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's get rid of that. And then they can walk to the construction sites down over here. Some of them will hopefully go to the bus stop and hopefully not too many of them will stop going to the bus stop because that bus stop is still supplying uh, the power plant here with workers. And it's also supplying the, um, well, the bus stop over here where this bus is picking people up and dropping them off. Um, hang on. You're supposed to pick them up over here. You're supposed to drop them off over here. Why are they not being dropped off? They should be able to leave this spot and walk to, oh. I'm sorry, there's no construction sites within reach. Oh, the other, although this one has been, no, not been suspended. However, I guess it doesn't have any resources, so there's no point in having workers come here. I guess that's what's going on. All right, what other construction down here is, hang on, whoa, when did this happen? The uh, coal ore processing plant has been completed. Oh, geez, um, that must have happened, that must have happened like within the last couple days. Okay, uh, okay. Well, hang on then. So we need to get this built, right? Don't know why people aren't coming to build it. Like, I don't know how to get people... Well, you know what? Probably. No, we've got a road connection to this spot. We don't have a road connection to this spot. But I think we checked previously and we can't, right? Overlaps with existing construction. All that foolishness. It's not like footpath connections will do the trick. So we've got the road connection. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and see if this thing has... No, nah, this thing's in progress as well. But nothing's been assigned to it. Okay, that's that's got to be part of the problem. So let's go ahead and assign... Now, if this, if this takes a very long time, I'm just going to rush it. Um... Because, uh, as much as, uh, there's, uh, as some of you pointed out in the comments, there's a lot to be, um, a lot of money to be spent making some of these. So I would like to save on that, but if it takes too long, then I will, uh, I will pay for it rather than build it myself. Uh, there's a footpath over here that we could probably get rid of, even if it's just temporarily to get this road working. But I don't think that ever goes up by enough. We can sneak under it? No, I don't think so. Oh, maybe. Let's see. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and... It's not the end of the world. We'll just kind of cancel that a little bit. Get this road. No, get this road. Right over... Come on. Come on, game. You know what I want. You know what I need. There we go. And then get the footpath connected right away as well. No reason for it to not be connected. Cool. So now we should be able to build this as well. It's not suspended. 
good stuff. Let's go ahead and reduce the number of workers in here because we're just wasting time. There's no coal here to be processed, so why have people processing the coal? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get uh, the construction office over here. Because these things don't need prefab panels, do they? They don't. So we should be able to see some progress over here. As long as we work on some things, as long as we're seeing some progress, somewhere. They're already assigned, I'm pretty sure. Cool. Go ahead and assign you as well. Why not? More the merrier. Uh, let's get you and... Oh, I think I need to assign these as well, don't I? I guess I do. Alright. Alright. Get it all done. Let's get it all done. And we can uh, double speed it. Things happen a little bit faster. Just double checking to make sure I've got all this assigned. That's not connected. That's not connected either. We'll get that eventually. Alright, cool. It's everything over here. That's all working. We need a road connection. Up over here. Oh, no, the road's up this way. Okay, not a problem. You sides are too... Come on now. Work with me, gang. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. B E A. Beautiful. The road connection over here. Probably do. Ah, uh, it's gonna say infrastructure's in the way, right? I hate when it does that. It's like you are the infrastructure, so I'll have to pay for that one. No big deal. No big deal. Materials are already arriving. Yeah, if we can start, if we can mine this coal and deliver it to the power plant as much constructed ourselves as possible, that would be great. There is quite a bit left to do over here. Going over the mountain, some things we'll have to pay for because we just can't get roads up there, unfortunately. So yeah, we'll pay for we'll pay for some of this stuff, obviously. Um, in fact, why not go ahead and oh look at that! Finally, this thing has been emptied out. It's picking up all of its resources and stuff over here. Good stuff. That should help with our with our backlog as well. I believe we have a lot of steel and stuff that's just been kind of clogging up the system. Uh, so that should help with that as well. Sorry, I meant to click on this. I go. We should be able to work on you. Are we able to work on any of you? Some of you we should be able to work on. We just got these road connections too steep of a descent. That's not true. We can definitely force that. Go ahead and connect you over here. Too steep of a descent. Oh, okay. This one might be true. Nope. Lies. Lies, I've been told. All right. We're good. Over here. This might be a little tougher. There's a certain sense of uh, pride, I feel, when, when we build something entirely on our own. I don't know if you all agree. Uh, maybe, maybe it's more painful to watch than uh, than I think it is. And if it is, then let me know. A as always, folks, I didn't actually mention this in my extremely long spiel at the beginning. But if you're enjoying this series, you want to see it continue, you know, for a hundred more episodes, for a thousand more episodes, whatever it might be. Again, the best way to make sure that happens is by leaving those likes and comments down below. I do read through all the comments. They give me some insight as to like what you want to see more or less of. Uh, I see some of you, for example, suggesting that I should build all this with my money rather than have construction buildings or construction vehicles come through. Uh, but now I'm throwing it up to you know hear everyone's opinion just to see what everyone thinks. There's a lot of money to be saved, right? Uh, even if we build parts of it, there's money to be saved. Not that we need saving money. If I'm completely honest, which is why I'm not uh, too worried about having to pay for it if we want to. Um, but apart from that as well, I look at the number of likes and comments. It's a quick read for me to, um, to just understand maybe what uh, what people are uh, interested in watching more or less of on the channel, right? Uh, makes for, I think, makes for, makes for a more, how should I put it? It, it just, it makes for a better experience overall, I think. But, hey, I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong. Look at that, all this work being done over here. And there's no reason to shut down the work over here either. If the construction offices are being assigned, then that's fine. As long as we're not deprioritizing any of this, workers are still coming. Prefab panels. See, when we're waiting for prefab panels, we might as well be delivering goods elsewhere. There's no reason not to. I'm perfectly fine with that. We're good over here. Work is being done. I'm really excited to see this done. Especially this, like, double bus stop. And yes, I know, functionally, it's completely useless. But visually, I really like how that's uh, looking. You know what I don't like? I don't like the gap between these. That's not perfect. The center is right. I think this one needs to be a bit more that way, or this one needs to be a bit more inside. Let's, let's pull it a bit closer. The BMP one to be more like over here, I think, would do the trick. I think it was a matter of the, uh, the footpath drawing my attention. I want to make sure I don't demolish something incorrect by mistake. 
Yeah, the footpath is definitely drawing my attention. But we'll probably demolish the footpaths afterward. Pop you down over here. That looks better. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm really pumped. Uh, let's go ahead and double speed it. No need to watch all this in slow motion. We're going to see some good progress happening over here. Uh, you know, we can also get this construction office involved if it isn't already. It is. Good stuff. Oh, man. One of these uh, bus stops is already over halfway done. This rate, we're going to see some things complete in this session. I mean, the, the party, it's the, the headquarters itself. Not assigned. Okay. I like the cherry on top. We could save it for later. Or I could assign stuff. Like, this will also take prefab panels. It will not. Alright, that's good. In fact, it'll consume some of our bricks and steel and boards. That's excellent. That's wonderful. Um, Let's go ahead and assign it. Because we need to free up some more space still like it's not about freeing up space as much as it's like we need to use some of the stuff up oh my steel is actually really low all right we'll take a look at that in a second um what am i looking for here um you go ahead and assign road connection doesn't exist oh right of course because we've got uh these coming through but i thought the uh, sidewalk oh you know what right we have to have this connection there now you can build it no. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Got the sidewalk connection. I'm pretty sure construction vehicles are able to use the footpaths. <gasps> no, don't tell me. All right, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world because what we can do is, first of all, get rid of that. Eyesore. If something's using that right now. Right now, something's using it. Let's, okay, let's go ahead and get rid of the T-34 over here. Right. The road down this way. What we'll need to do is, no, come down to here and then probably split it. Get rid of these sidewalks over here and over here. Let's see what we can do. I'm sure we'll come up with something. We always come up with something. Let's get this set up over here. There we go. Get you down. Hmm. All right, all right. Just got to cancel you a little bit. A tinier road down there. Oh, still too sharp a turn. Come on. We got this working fine. All right. So let's see. I nudge you over just a bit more. Now this is too sharp a turn. All right. All right. We're okay. We're okay. We got this. We got this. It's also too sharp a turn. Okay. We got this. I'm. I'm. I'm not freaking out. Freaking out a little bit. Now we'll be fine. I could have sworn the footpaths. They used to at least work for, um, for letting, uh, construction vehicles come through. Oh, come on. Some other infrastructure's in the way. Okay. Let's see if we can't sort that out. If we do this, there we go. There we go. And then we can connect this like so. And then, eventually... We'll, uh, we'll adjust this. Though I, I don't hate this, actually. Let's see. Can't have this set up, though, without at least one T-34. Question is, where does it go? Go over here. Got a salute in the correct direction, right? Got a salute in the correct direction. Alright, we'll... Uh, oh, okay, so we can put one over here. And we mirror it, though, is the question. Nah, it's not going to let me mirror it. Okay, so what we'll do is, yeah, we'll we'll eventually get rid of this, and we'll uh, we'll put it back down over here. And what we'll do is we'll also figure this out properly. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. And what we'll do instead is maybe build. No, 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 no. There we go, like that. So it still has that shape that I was going for, and now it's connected down over here as well. Cool. You know what? I kind of actually like that better. <laughs> Funny how the world works. All right, so uh, I was saying we're going to check this out later. And what I was pointing at was this. And it's cleared up. See, the, the, the blockage here, so to speak, is just trains waiting for other trains. The way to solve that would be to separate where some things get loaded and unloaded. So I need to maybe look at that as a thing. Ooh, this isn't good. See, all the construction happening is slowing down the production of steel a fair bit. Um, so that's a bit of a bit of a temporary issue, but an issue nonetheless, because slower steel production means, well, 
means a couple of things. It means a couple of things for us. We've got 209 tons over here. Okay. Maybe we stop exporting for a little while. Where's our steel train? You. Go ahead and run your last run. Um, we're not going to export. Oh, hey, we've hit our 10 million. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, so yeah, we're, we're not going to export. Uh, we're going to stop loading steel. And if I check you back on, it's 80%. Yeah, we're going to stop unloading steel. We'll still hit the, uh, the spots just to keep our, um, what's it called? Our, our setup. Uh, we're going to go here to unload anything you might be carrying. And then you come back to load up bricks and boards. Yeah. And that works. That'll do the trick for now. Bricks and boards, plentiful. Steel is not. Well, steel doesn't get stored here anyway. Prefab panels. They're coming up, and that's good. And over here, you're waiting. What are you waiting for? You're waiting for one of these trains. You're waiting for this train over here. Again, so we could separate this into another block, but I uh, don't know if that's necessary. As steel here is starting to be produced and stored, that's good. We have a good number of workers as well. I mean, it's very possible that I just checked at the wrong time, at the worst possible time to check. Uh, but I'd rather play it safe than sorry for the next little bit at least. Look at that, only one worker came out of that train. These trains used to carry how many people? And it's because all these workers are... Uh, okay, wrong one to click on. It's it's because all these workers are... Where are you guys going? Got a bunch of workers here, 220. Oh, look at that, these are done! Oh, that's beautiful! Ah, that's beautiful. I was seeing some good progress too. Yeah, so all the, all the workers are, are kind of down over here right now. I take it 208 workers. That's that's no small sum. That's no small amount. Um. Oh, I'm so excited to see these. I might swap these out for T34s. I kind of like them as they are, but again, I might just you know recreate the old thing. I'm kind of liking this shape though. If I'm honest, I could remove this section over here. Oh yeah, that could be nice. If I remove this section. Now the footpath curve this way instead, and then have the T-34s over here? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. You can tell, like, I had my plan and I've, I just threw it out the window, right? That's how all, uh, all good plans go. Look at that. You know something big is coming. You know something big is coming. Off in the distance over there, do you see that? Off in the distance are power lines. Oh, man. All right, so, um, I mean, gee, I, I said I was going to go down memory lane a little bit, but uh, then I got in, in, intercepted by responsibility. I mean, oh, what is there What is there not to highlight? Jeez. Um, remember when uh, there were train problems in the nation? No. Uh, again, this is... It might not seem like it. It is working as intended. Because you're here to pick up... Oh, you know what? Actually, though, I do need to turn off the wait until loaded right now. Because now that we've kind of emptied the prefab panels here and we've reached something of a of a balance, supposedly. Though the bricks, there's still an infinite number of bricks. Hopefully without any steel exports, those bricks will empty out again. Nonetheless, we, we, we can still fit prefab panels over here. And because we can do that, uh, we no longer need to wait until loaded because otherwise it'll be in a constant state of emptiness. And our construction here that needs prefab panels will be in trouble. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, right, so... Yeah, geez, I don't even know how to go down memory lane with this thing. Like, looking back at our power plant, I mean, that was a, that was a struggle of its own at one point where we had just the one coal um, processing plant and had to get the second one and obviously had to deal with all the uh, shenanigans. Remember when we rebuilt this entire network over here? Oh, man, I forgot just to fit the uh, large aggregate storage, which, to be fair, has been extremely valuable, so it was totally worth it. But, yeah, geez... We did rebuild this section. Quite heftily, too. Oh man, I don't even remember what episode that was. Because the first thing we did was settle up uh, party power. We put down that coal mine up there. Uh, we made sure the coal was coming down to the processing plant. And then that was being processed and sent over to the power plant. Then we, well, I'll wait until the sun rises. Because otherwise all you see is little dots of light. Not, uh... I mean, that's one way to light memory lane, I suppose. But not the ideal way. Things seem to be moving pretty smoothly. Construction over here is progressing. Let's while while it's nighttime, let's go ahead and take a look at Uprising Grad and see how that's going. Close. It feels like there's been we've like split the difference between where we were and where we are. It's still the prefab panels just slowing us down. It's the prefab panels just slowing us down. Uh, all right, yeah, back over here. So party power, 
got that all set up and we had this main road the bridge is a relatively recent addition uh, it's newer than the original main road this road used to just be a straight road these tracks didn't exist and we had our first block was uh was this entire section if i'm not mistaken we put all this down and there's our first ever bus platform jeez and then when that got to be not enough i think when we added these houses this wasn't enough to bring people through, and so we had, uh, we had to put this, uh, this bus stop down. And I can't remember, but didn't we originally have a small store over here? I think so. Let me, let me see here. If we, if we look at the grocery store, I'm fairly certain we had a grocery store here. Uh, and then that was just very quickly not nearly enough, so we go ahead and, we went ahead and built the shopping center. That was a while later, though, because I think, uh, we spent some time, yeah, building the hospital up, the, uh, first cinema at Veterinkagrad as well. Our first pub up over here. And all these football fields are so new in comparison to everything else. These are such fresh constructions. And after that, we had the fire station down here. And I think, yeah, I think after we did this, then we started working on Train Rexki, which obviously earned its name later. And originally, oh man, it was a bit of a wreck, wasn't it? Oh, oh, did I speak too soon this session? Seems I may have. Looks like we have a jam. Oh, of course. Gotta maintain tradition, right? Gotta maintain tradition. Now, why are you stuck here? What are the chances? You come back to Train Rexki to see a Train Rexki. What are you doing? You're trying to get to the train platform over here. Oh, let's slow it down a bit. You're trying to get to the platform over here. You're trying to get to the platform over here. Everyone's trying to get to this platform. And... Nobody can. Why can nobody get to this platform? We've got a red light over here. Let me check the, uh... There's a chain. As I'm pretty sure it should be. I think I need to put down regular... A regular... Um, semaphore, perhaps, over here. Right outside the, uh... Right outside the junction, right? And then I think we might need a regular semaphore outside of this junction as well. Though we've got one up there. We've got one up there. I don't know if that'll solve the problem, but here's hoping. Seems to have. But, uh, you know, might be a temporary solution. Anyway, back to talking about Train Rexky and its namesake. Yeah, it, originally there was a huge roundabout thing going on over here. Um, and it was always going to be where we processed, oh, you know what? No, I think before we did Train Rexki, we did Food, uh, F Foodinski, Farminski, right? It was just like these fields up over here. Uh, we had, I don't even remember if the livestock farm was that old. We had, uh, the agro farm. We had a couple fields down here. Some of these, no, actually these fields are new. We had the agro farm down there and we had like these fields, I want to say, just these fields. And that was not enough right from the beginning. That wasn't enough. And even right now we don't have enough. Wow, this has actually been emptied out. I wonder if I shouldn't get that second ship I was talking about. Be another good way to commemorate the uh, the episode, right? Actually have a food supply. <laughs> uh, this was all added later. This was this was the second farm we got much later, and we added a couple more fields. I think this agro farm ultimately ended up having a few more fields than it was supposed to. Like, it was taken care of more than its uh, ideal. We added this one, and ultimately we added this one as well as we expanded the uh, farmlands down over here. Um, but I think even this one came after our expansion across the water. Man. And then, and then, yeah, and after we had food supply over here, or crop supply over there, we were like, alright, well, we want to, we want to process that over here, so that it's halfway between where it needs to be consumed and where its raw materials are produced. So that's where we got this train platform. Uh, though again, originally there was a passenger platform... Oh, wow. I'm trying to remember. There was, like, the, the train platform, and there was a passenger platform right next to it, or something. There was some funky stuff going on here. Uh, and we still have the remnant track over here, which I was like, yeah, if I eventually want to, you know, bring coal or something for, for export, then this is where the track will be. Nope. Never happened. Never happened. Now it's just a ghost track or a storage train. Like, trains can be stored, maybe, I guess. Um, yeah, we rebuilt this. We rebuilt this before the fabric and clothing factory was here. 
was it after? It was definitely before we got this warehouse and chemical plant and all this stuff. All this expansion uh, was a part of this expansion, the, the housing over here. And that was all because the chemical plant up over here was not able to produce enough chemicals for our fabric factory down over here. And we look at that, we do have a bit of a backlog of fabric. Well, not really. The clothes are going to be scooped up and then, uh, I don't know, maybe we do have a fabric surplus. But yeah, this, oh wow, you know what, it's kind of weird. I thought I would remember the, uh, the, the history of, of these, uh, of these developments a bit more crisply, but I, but I don't. I genuinely don't. I'm pretty sure these things happened first and we had the loop still. We might have adjusted the loop at that point, the little circle. Might have gotten rid of it. And this was added as well at the same time because of the, the clothing, right? This is where clothes and fabric used to get dropped off and picked up for export. And these were all also late additions. Man, remember all this stuff was uh, built by uh, just by by buying it all. We didn't we didn't we didn't build any of that ourselves. Crazy. Um, yeah. When did when did this happen? This happened much later when we realized the chemical plant wasn't enough. And then right, that's what it was. We were like, okay, well, we need to get chemicals closer to here. Uh, but chemical plants need wood, so we had to get a wood cutting post down, and that's when it escalated to like, all right, well, we need a proper set up over here and so this was completely revamped and this train station was introduced as well and it's been uh been a joy ever since hopefully this will fix things up though i mean geez We're low on livestock that's gonna be a bit of a problem well i i you know what i'm gonna try and solve this is i guess our last big uh train problem um <laughs> famous last words then then what happened then i guess we the university came first. This is a pretty linear progression over here. University came first alongside these uh, these university halls in the hopes of getting more highly educated workers, because I realized that, that was a problem. Uh, we didn't have very many. And then this block came afterwards, shortly afterwards, if I recall correctly, followed by this bus platform. And that was when uh, one of the updates was released that included these kinds of bus stops, which is why this is the first time you see one of these bus stops. And I never quite went back and, uh, and change this up. Now this road over here didn't exist for the longest time. No, we, we then moved this way, right? We got a new type of block going. I was really happy with this layout. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we did all this, we'd done all this, and we got this going. This wasn't built yet. None of this existed until relatively recently. At all. Oh, wow, yeah, at all. Like, we had up until the cinema. This stuff was, uh, was MIA. We'll, we'll, we'll continue our journey of Veterinka grad in a moment. <laughs> sunrise oh wow this is wild and actually as we as we wait for the uh the sun to rise folks just want to throw a reminder out there again uh, if you check the pinned comment down below i will have a little something special that i cooked up that well i should say we cooked up miss elite helped significantly in in producing uh the art that you see um but uh it's, it's a little something special that we cooked up for this uh, momentous occasion if you want to check it out i will have it on like quote unquote a sale so to speak for uh, let's say let, let's say we put it on sale for a week, right? So that's I think that's enough time. I'll throw a reminder out next episode as well, which will be on Wednesday. We're not gonna have another skipped Wednesday episode or anything like that. Uh, so make sure you pick it up, and then we'll uh, I don't know. I, I might do it again in episode 150. Get it get a sale, but the, the 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 merch will be available in you know perpetuity. It's not like a limited run or anything like that. I don't want to do that. I, I I personally I don't know. Maybe I'll do it eventually for some stuff, but I've never seen. I don't like that, you know, because sometimes people aren't ready to, 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 what's it called, to, to, to take that leap. So I'm gonna, it's gonna be up. The sale will be for, because it has to be time limited, so it'll be for a week, and then we'll, we'll revisit that conversation later as well. Wow, you know, I thought the sun would rise a lot quicker. Let's go ahead and double speed it. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have that much of a spiel prepared. I don't have any spiel prepared. My notes are an empty notepad document that's not even open because it doesn't exist. All right, there we go. Sun's up. Uh, so yeah, so we we then grew this block over here, which is looking pretty good still. I still like the look of this, honestly. And I think this is where we started using a different building type as well, yeah. Uh, much requested in the comments. And then I was... What came next? Did this come next? Oh yeah, you know what? This came next. Just this section down here with a conversation about building uh, a mirror, like a, a top bit of it as well. Just trying to remember how this all went down. I know this train station wasn't a different train station at first, 
until we swapped it out for this much bigger one, which is a mod, Vozcal Medium, I believe it's called. And we got that mod to make sure that we could get this track built. And do you remember this bridge? How long did this bridge take to build? Oh, it took forever, but this was the first track that we built ourselves, wasn't it? No, no, we actually built a part of this track ourselves as well. I remember the horrible blockages we were getting because of the construction yard and the construction vehicles coming through. Oh yeah, I remember that. We we did build part of this our, ourselves. And then yeah, so we've got the, the, the loop around over here. These trams have still been doing okay. They were having some trouble at, at, at a time as well. But this has been working all right, and this was all just to get iron. But this came after the steel mill, right? We did the steel mill first, and we were importing iron for the longest time. Man. And the mechanical... Oh, remember the mechanical components? This was, uh, this was a fun time. Because uh, we demolished a lot of stuff over here. We demolished a bunch of conveyor belts, power supply, every... We demolished a bunch of stuff just so we could have that factory connection. And I'm glad we did because it, it helps us produce... And again, mechanical components and steel are what, side by side, helped our economy recover. Because we were looking at, what was it, 2 million or something rubles at the time when we got these going? Getting the train set up to export? Man, it, it's been a wild ride. And that was, that was just Veterinkagrad, and then Rustinsky obviously took a long time to build, but we did build that, I believe, almost entirely ourselves, except for the uh, conveyor belts and stuff. Uh, but that was a huge project. Even back over here, the prefab panel came later. All this, oh my god. This is huge. When, when do we build all this? this? You know what, this all we did when we got our first construction office down. The star is by comparison new and yeah i remember struggling with the terrain over here what is this why do we still have a conveyor belt that's just kind of sitting there oh my god how long has this been here shall we uh shall we get rid of it watch it breaks everything weird not sure why that was there i want to make sure i don't delete anything by mistake yeah and then and then eventually we built uh the bridge to uh to saint partia that was another this is entirely built by our people. And this is this, this bridge was built a second time, wasn't it? Did I build it the second time as well, or did I pay for it the second time? Because of the, 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 the ship not being willing to, to travel underneath it. Oh my, that was a, that was an adventure of its own. And then of course, you know, Ruralinsky, Brixtonia, Uprising Grad, this stuff is all recent memory. Ongoing recent memory. Oh, looks like our school down here is done. That's good, the kindergarten... Should be done soon as well. No prefab panels needed over here. So close. 52 tons of prefab panels needed. Down over here. Power supply is still coming through. Good stuff. Down over here. Have we seen progress? We have indeed a fair bit of progress. I don't mind this stuff taking some time because, again, we, we don't have the number of workers in the area to dedicate to this entire uh, supply chain, right? So let's not, uh, let's not overestimate ourselves. And this is all, this is all very recent memory. I mean, this stuff happened basically yesterday in the grand scheme of things. So there's, uh, there's not much to, 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 to trip down there. Though I think, yeah, I think, I mean, y'all let me know if you want to do like, uh, following vehicles type tours or something next session. That's what I was thinking. It'd be fun to just get that first person perspective a little bit, um, to, to the movement of, of our people and whatnot. How are we doing over here? We're doing all right. You're picking up some livestock. Yeah. We're okay. We'll, 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 we'll recover from the little mishap from earlier. I'm sure we'll be fine. Um, probably a terrible time to check. Yep, I shouldn't have checked. <laughs> Food is a bit of a problem still. Food is a bit of a problem still. I mean, again, one of the suggestions was that we just buy crop temporarily. Just buy crops temporarily until we can sustain ourselves. I'll probably buy it directly at the food factory. Probably. But, uh... Not today. Not today. This construction continues over here. A fair bit to go. These are both done. Oh, our, uh, our eternal flame here is done as well. That's great. And this... This will be done soon. This will be done episode 101, almost certainly. This, not so certain. Because there's a lot of moving parts to this one. There's a lot of moving parts to this one. But hey, we're over a quarter done. Almost halfway done. Almost halfway done. But what is done, folks, is this episode. This is where we're going to call it. 
We're at that hour mark, just a bit over it, in fact. Having a hard time letting go of the episode, if I'm completely honest. It's, 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 it's wild. Look at this city. We built this city. A a and these ones. But, but look at this one. This one's huge. That's crazy. Man, wow. That's wild. Alright, folks. I think it's time to, uh... Call it a session over here. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope I didn't overhype it. I hope I didn't build it up too much and you were expecting, uh, you know, space flight or something. Um, but I think within the confines of, uh, of the game, building the uh, headquarters over here and making a big deal out of it is definitely uh, in tune, in keeping with uh, with our intentions and our where the heart of this uh, Let's Play is. Uh, really happy with uh, with how this is looking. The trees are already up as well, so that's great. It's going to look beautiful once it's done. I'm really excited. And folks, again, just a reminder, check the pinned comment. Not going to belabor that point anymore. Done it enough times. This is, uh, I guess it's time to, to say uh, goodbye, but don't worry. Only until Wednesday. Uh, Worker Wednesday will resume as of this week, and then we will return with Soviet Sunday and Worker Wednesday. Our regular schedule, no need to slow it down, not at all. Uh, we're still having fun. It's great to see so many of you still joining us. So many, so very many sessions uh, on. Uh, many of you have been watching since the beginning. Some of you joined us in the middle. I do not separate. Y'all are great, uh, as I said earlier, right? Y'all are great tovarishi to have on this uh, train ride with me. <laughs> Hopefully it continues to be, well, smoother than our uh, actual train rides. Folks, onwards to the future, as always. If you enjoyed... Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. A massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis to keep us alive and running smoothly. Uh, without your support, things like this, these long endeavors would not be possible. And of course, a massive thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching as well. Do not take it for granted. Your views make a big difference. So just thank you all uh, for, again, joining me on this epic journey. Until next time. Das Vidanya.